Welcome to this video. Today, in this video, we will study about the surface area of sphere and hemisphere. Thomas, look what I have brought for you today. This looks so beautiful. What is this, Manas? Sweets from my sister's wedding. You know, Manas, this sweet is completely coated with silver. Oh, wow. How much silver would have been used to cover it? We can find the answer to this through mathematics. That means it's math time. Manas, this sweet is circular, isn't it? <laughs> no, Thomas. This is a sphere. Now, what is this sphere? Thomas, just like a circle is a two-dimensional shape, a sphere is a three-dimensional solid shape, which is made up of all those points in space which are at a certain fixed distance from a certain fixed point. This fixed point is called the center of the sphere and the fixed distance is called the radius of the sphere. All right, I understood about the sphere, but how will we find out the amount of silver used to cover this spherical sweet? The silver is completely covering the total surface of the spherical sweet. So we can say that the silver used to cover the spherical sweet will be equal to the surface area of this sphere. Hmm, you're right. But how do we find the surface area of the sphere? We do not know its formula. Then, let us find the formula for the surface area of a sphere. Suppose the radius of this spherical suite is R. Now imagine if we wrap a string on this sphere in this way and keep wrapping it, keep wrapping it on the sphere till it covers the sphere completely. Now on a paper, if we make four circles with radius r of the sphere in this way and fill the circles by placing the string we had wrapped the spherical suite with one by one, then we will find that the string which completely covered the surface of the sphere is now filling the surfaces of four circles with same radius as that of the sphere. Can you tell me what this means? I get it. This means the surface area of a sphere with radius r is equal to the area of four circles with radius r. And the area of a circle of radius r is pi times r square. Oh wow, Manas! We found the formula for the surface area of a sphere. The surface area of a sphere is 4 times pi r square, where r is the radius of the sphere. Well done, Thomas. But what are you thinking now? I am thinking that I will surely eat this sweet by sharing it with you. But if we cut it into two equal parts, what will this new shape be now? Thomas, if we take any solid sphere and cut it into two parts by passing a plane through its center, then it will be divided into two equal parts. And each half of this is called a hemisphere. Now, what will be the formula for the surface area of this hemisphere? I will tell you. First, you tell me how many surfaces are there in this hemisphere? Two. One is curved 
and the other is flat. That's correct. The area of this curved surface is equal to the curved surface area of the hemisphere. As you can see, the curved surface area of the hemisphere is half of the surface area of the sphere. That is, the curved surface area of a hemisphere is equal to the product of 2 pi and r square where r is the radius of the base of the hemisphere. And look, if we add the area of the flat surface to the curved surface area of the hemisphere, then we will also know the formula for the total surface area of the hemisphere. In this way, the total surface area of the hemisphere is the product of 3 pi and r square. Let me quickly write these formulae in the formula booklet. You forgot all about your original question in the whole sphere and hemisphere discussion. Come on, now quickly find out how much silver has been used to cover this spherical suite. Oh, 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 oh yes, I will solve this quickly by writing the radius of the spherical suite. 3.5 cm instead of r in the formula for the surface area of this sphere. Look. This spherical suite has been covered with 154 square centimeters of silver. Well done, Thomas. Now let's quickly return to our world and eat this suite by dividing the sphere in half. The two friends enjoyed eating the suite by dividing the spherical suite into halves. In this video, we studied about the surface area of sphere and hemisphere. We learned 1. What is a sphere and hemisphere? 2. How to find surface area of sphere and hemisphere? In the next video, we will see some interesting examples based on this.